come in. Uh, hello, Bunny, right? Yeah. Would you prefer Hi. to sit down? You know, I will. I will go ahead and I'll just sit down right over here. I've got this group of individuals that uh, want to make sure I can wrangle them and make sure that they're all doing exactly uh, one thing as one unit. You know, you do, do you know what I'm saying? So I, what I'm hearing you say is that you're looking to grow your company. Would you mind if I asked you just a couple questions about yourself? Because it is your company, correct? Oh, yeah. It's, it is definitely my company. I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and ask questions. Okay, great. So what would you consider your core values? Basically, what I'm asking you is what makes you tick? Tell me <laughs> a little bit. What's a good day look like? If something happens that I didn't expect have happen, <laughs> it makes me so happy. What I'm hearing you say is something that's spontaneous. Is that accurate? No, oh, yeah, that sounds exactly what I'm talking about. Spontaneity. All right, so let's let's put that in a parking lot for a second as far as a possibility of a core value. So something unexpected happens. What's the result? Other than it being spontaneous, what gratification do you get? Oh, what I get out of it, I get such a rush right into my head. And uh, I just, I, <laughs> I can't help but laugh. It's so good. What's the rush? Well, I, I got to be honest. I love it when they have that scared look on their face. It makes me so happy. Is it about making them scared or is it about just getting their attention for that moment? Kind of Ooh. breaking up their day? Well, I definitely want to break up people's days. Okay. <laughs> like a record scratch, but on a global scale, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So is it attention then? I love the attention. Yes. I also love to watch them get scared. Can we put attention over with spontaneity in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. And then come back to the actual fear part of it. So when you make people scared, is it that you made them scared or now that they're scared and you have their attention, what do you want them to do? Well, I, what I really want them to do is just die. Just die from laughter. Just die from uh, gunshots. Whatever it is, I just want them to just feel completely dead at that point. And is it anybody? It, it, is it somebody that's specifically done something to you or is it just anybody? Well, if I can target people that are well-to-do, if you will, change their mindset, like maybe against a wall. So I, I hear where you're going with this. So if I had you make a list, three people that you admire, you look up to, that you think that your company would be super successful if you could hire these people, but they can be real they can be fiction, they can be alive or not with us anymore. Tell me those three names. Hmm. Well, I'd have to say Mussolini. Okay. Dr. Doom. Okay. And Donald Trump. Those three people would be really good to help me get the attention that I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. I think all three of them would be willing to do pretty much anything to get what they needed. Dedicated, maybe, even? Yeah. So those, Arthur, those sound like some things that are really important to you, and we would want to build the company on those core values. Like, what's a project you're working on right now? Well, I'm working on a project where I'm going to spray a, a green gas all over Gotham City that is going to make people laugh themselves to death. Does that hit your core values? Is, is it really going to grab attention, Arthur? Or... Well, it is because I'm going to take over all of the radio and TV stations and also the internet and make sure that everybody knows exactly what's going on. So I'm going to hold you right there for one second as far as the growth goes, Arthur. So what else could we have the gas do other than have people laugh themselves to death that would grab attention, that would be spontaneous? Because... It sounds like maybe you have taken people's lives before. And so people are kind of expecting that. And that wouldn't really be spontaneous at that point. And then ambitious enough that it would drive more people to join your company, join your team and take up arms with you. You know, I probably don't have enough people on my Facebook page. Maybe that's what that green gas does is just gets them to go like my Facebook page. 
I think that that sounds like it accomplishes what you said was the reason that you came in today as far as growth. And then did it hit all of your core values as far as the spontaneity and the awareness, attention grabbing and and those? Do you feel like that hits them all? People aren't expecting it. Yeah. How do you feel right now, Arthur? I feel so great. (laughs) Then my work here is done. I'll see you same time next week. All right. (laughs) 